How could an iron mine in northwest Wisconsin impact the environment? Scientists are working to answer that question by examining the site of the proposed mine this spring and into the summer. A Florida-based company, Gojibic Taconite, wants to build an open pit mine in iron in Ashland counties. Discussions about the mine have been ongoing since November of 2010. We're talking, uh, taking an in-depth look tonight into what's happening at the site right now and plans for its future. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe traveled to the area recently and brings us balanced coverage. Kind of where we'll have to start. Experts are carefully combing the forests of the Pinocchi Hills in southern Iron and Ashland counties, the site of a proposed iron mine. I'm making a quick list of what we have right here in this area as far as what the plants are. I'm looking at the presence of water or features. Neil Molstad is doing field work for Gogebic Taconite, mapping out wetlands. So even though it's very, very small, we still have to make sure that things like this are documented. Um, the state requires it, the, the federal government requires it. About 20 scientists work at the site on an average day. The data they collect is critical to Gogebic Taconite's plans for a $1.5 billion mine. If the science doesn't say we can do it, then we can't do it. Gogebic spokesperson says the information will be put into its application for a mining permit. People who oppose the project, like the chairman of the Bad River Indian Tribe, expect the data will support their side. What I foresee happening is, is science holding sway, uh, the mining company being un unable to deal with the physical realities of uh, their notions of mining safely, and uh, they'll have to put their toys away. The mine would be built about five miles from a tribal boundary. The Bad River tribe fears sulfides from the mine's waste rock would mix with water and air to form acidic drainage. That would flow through tribal lands upstream to the shore of Lake Superior. When you look at the sensitivities of wild rice, when you look at the sensitivities of different parts of the ecosystems, um, all of that is, is at stake for us. Gogebic says it will test for anything that could be in its rock. Whether or not you find, for instance, a sulfide mineral doesn't really tell you anything. It's whether or not the overall ore body is going to produce something that's dangerous to the environment or not. And, uh, if we had seen something that would make this a showstopper, that you know, we couldn't do this mine safely for the environment, um, I don't think we'd be spending the money right now. The Wisconsin DNR says there are reports dating back to the 1800s of sulfides in the area, but the agency says it's very early in the project and it hasn't studied any of Gogebic's samples. The company's mining engineer says it will also take a close look. We'll be taking samples to determine the acid base accounting, which will tell us if it's acid producing or not. We'll do another test to determine what kind of um, metals would leach out of this long term. The DNR will split Gogebic samples and independently test them to determine the distribution and concentration of all minerals. In the past year, Gogebic Tacnet has taken 22 samples out of the ore body by drilling into the ground. Those sites now marked by casings like this. Other tests are being done on hidden water at the 3,200-acre site. We've also uh, drilled hydrological wells so we can model what the groundwater is doing to ensure that we don't have negative impacts on wetlands or streams or lakes. Not all of the field work can take place during the day. At night, some scientists have been out here listening for frogs and owls. Whatever they observe has to be documented and included in Gogebic's application. Scientists are also paying special attention to protected species. The mine would have to avoid contact with them. DNR staff is also on site two or three days a week to make sure the project is following state regulations. Our role is to um, make sure that they are doing things in the, the proper way. And uh, so far, so good. Gogebic Taconite reimburses the DNR for its oversight work. The company says as of June, it's paid the DNR $350,000. The DNR's role here is a neutral role. Uh, we're an advisory capacity for the most part. Meanwhile, just across the road from the proposed mine site is a camp dedicated to Indian culture and mining opposition. We just kind of just chose to stick around and kind of inform people about what the mine is about, what, what, it, what's, what they're trying to say is what's good and what's bad, but I don't see any good coming out of the mine. Larry Ackley and his wife Jennifer say they have been living here since last fall, staying through the winter. It was pretty cool. 
Literally. <laughs> but the Ackleys say they weren't around last summer when Gogebek Taconite hired guards, some carrying assault rifles, to protect its site. Yeah, the mercenaries from Arizona. We were told about them. Gogebek brought in the guards after a protest seen in this YouTube video led to criminal charges against a demonstrator. We didn't notice any guards during our visit to the site, but the company wouldn't explain its current setup. We try not to talk about what we're doing for security because uh, the protesters don't tell us, you know, what they're doing, and so we try to keep it. But we do, we are concerned with security with everything we do. The site has been targeted by vandalism. The company says people have put glue in locks and damaged a bridge. That had to be repaired. I'll take care of the sample points. For people working on research at the site, it's tough to predict when their work will be complete. Initially, it goes pretty slow. Gogebic expects the data collection will continue through most of this year. In Anderson, Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. Now tomorrow, Andrew will explain the current plans for the mine if a permit is approved. He'll also talk to a former DNR leader about how the company is doing so far in its work in the area.